The drive from Osan Air Base to Seoul is only about 30 miles and it should take only about 40 minutes to an hour by car, but it could take much longer than that if you hit some traffic. There are a few other ways to get from Osan Air Base to the capital city of Seoul without the need for a car. Here are the top three ways to get there using public transport. Probably the best method for those with lots of luggage is to take the local bus. When leaving the passenger terminal at Osan Air Base, have the front desk call you a taxi. Only certain taxis are allowed on the base, so the Kakao app is not necessarily the best way to hail one, as it is in the rest of the country. Have the taxi take you to Songtan bus station, a short ride away. From there, there are buses roughly every 30 minutes or so to Dong Seoul Terminal, and there is plenty of space for large bags, strollers, etc. This is probably the best option for those with a family, as buses run regularly and are very timely and have plenty of space. Seoul has one of the best subway or city railway systems in the world. Take a taxi from Osan Air Base to Songtan Subway Station. From there, get on Line 1 and head north towards Jinhui, the next stop. This will take about one and a half hours or so, but might be the best option with more frequent departures and for those traveling light without reservations on the SRT or super rapid train. This could be the fastest option, only about 13 or 20 minutes, but requires a little more planning and will only take you to Saseo Station south of the Han River. After arriving at Songtan Subway Station, you will take the subway in the opposite direction of Seoul to Pyeongtaek Jiji Station. At Jiji Station, you will need to purchase another ticket for the SRT. There is a chance that without reservations, tickets could be sold out for the SRT. This last option could be good for those traveling light and ready to change their plans and take the regular subway if the SRT is sold out.